Today I'm going to make an all-American dish, cobbler in a Dutch oven. And I've started with a really, really easy version of cobbler. Uh, there are a ton of different varieties. The Betty, the Grump, the Slump, the Dump, the Buckle, and the Sonker. And stop your chimp screaming. I did not forget grunts or pandowdies. All right, so to our two cups of Bisquick, I'm just going to add two cups of milk. Real simple. I've got a little nutmeg. Uh, add as much or as little of that as you want. Um, or don't add any. I don't care what you do. Add a little cinnamon to taste. If you don't like it, don't add it. Now I'll just stir this up. It doesn't have to be like super well combined. And uh, we're making basically something about the consistency of a runny pancake batter is kind of what we're going for. And it's alright if there are a few lumps left in it. Now what we're going to do is I've got a Dutch oven here. This is a 12 inch Dutch oven and I've got a Dutch oven liner in there. I'm just going to pour this batter into the bottom here. It looks a little runny but that's because some of these chunks need to dissolve the rest of the way. Now I've got uh, two cups of sugar and I've got two cans of sliced yellow peaches. These are 29 ounces a piece. And I've drained the, most of the liquid out of them. And I'm going to dump that into the sugar. Like so. And we're just going to stir it up till it's just combined here. Now if you look at this Dutch oven, this one has legs on it and it's got a lid that has a little bit of a lip on it. And what that lip is for is uh, we'll actually be cooking this with um, charcoal briquettes. You can, you can do this a bunch of different ways. These work great for cooking around a campfire. But the idea behind a Dutch oven is to get uh, more heat coming from the top than from the bottom so that uh, you don't scorch your food uh, terribly. Now, our peaches are pretty well combined. I'm just going to dump this in the top. Like so. Make sure we got plenty of sugar. Spread it out a little bit. And last but certainly not least, I've got two sticks of butter that I just want to cut up into little chunks and we're going to disperse these over the top. And as this bakes, that'll melt and kind of run down in there. And now we'll place the lid and we'll go on to our next step. Right. Now um, what we're going to do is we're going to put some holes out uh, you know in about the size of the bottom of our Dutch oven maybe a little more. Uh, these are hot like that and we're going to put our Dutch oven on top and that's about all the heat that I want on the bottom of that to avoid scorching it. Now we're going to put some on top and uh, there's no rush in, in cooking this and the thing you don't want to do is get it so hot that it that it burns so you kind of got to be careful. Don't put too many on and some people have figured out like the science behind doing this and I don't know I kind of have done enough of these that I just kind of do it by eye. I think that'll work. Now, in about 15 minutes, I'm going to come out and this little handy hook here, you can make sure you're getting even heat by just turning the lid a little bit like that and uh, lifting this up and turning this around and uh, that way you're sure you get even heat. It's been, you know, about 10, 15 minutes here, give or take. Let's see how we're doing. And you can see our uh, biscuit topping has risen to the top and our filling is bubbling and that's cooking. So now it's just uh, put this back on, give it a little bit of a turn here, maybe also turn the, so the, the bottom cools and uh, we'll check it again in probably 15 minutes. Now we'll check again here. Oh yeah, so it's starting to brown. I'll have to watch it real close here to make sure that it doesn't get too brown. Um, but we're gonna have cobbler before too long. All right, it's been, oh, probably 45 minutes and we're gonna take a look here. And it is done. 
Um, and how do I know it's done? Well, the top is, is browned up, but not terrible. And when I lift on this, I can see that that's basically solid, like a bread pudding texture. And so I'm going to remove the heat from this. It will continue to cook a little bit in, in here because the oven is still hot. But I'm going to remove the coals from both the top and the bottom and let this sit a bit before serving.